Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems. But before we begin guys, just a huge thank you as we are very very close to 11,000 subscribers now and we have absolutely smashed the target of getting it before the end of the year. So yeah, just a, wow. That's absolutely insane. So yeah, just a massive thank you to each and every one of you. It means the world. Really, really awesome. And yeah, just a massive thank you is really, really, really cool. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, um, for anyone who has not actually seen this series before, so it's basically where you guys send me systems, um, and then I check them out in videos. I mean, most of you probably know the routine now, but for anyone new, that is what we do here. And also, if you want to send in your own system, guys, also for anyone who is new, um, all you need to do is tell me the name of the system. If it's uploaded on the Steam Workshop, you can do that in the comments. Or you can join my Discord server and just drag the system file in there. It's a lot easier to do it that way. But yeah, but I can do the Steam Workshop stuff as well. So if you want me to do that, just leave a comment or join my Discord server. Link in the description. But yeah, with that all out of the way, let's begin. So here we go. So I've already searched the system up, so it's all ready to go for us. Okay, so this one is called The System Will Drive You Mad. It's made by um, Mad Planet Guy here. So let's just go ahead and see what he has prepared for us. So it's already got very, very... Okay, so this is very, very weird. The system will drive you mad. Prepare your eyes. Please see this aloud. I mean, I always do anyway. Your challenge is to get through the system without getting triggered. You must get through this without fully clicking on any of the objects. Well, how am I meant to, like, open them? Okay, you may click on them once they show up, like the broken system. It has the same glitch. Some objects in here. Oh, yeah, so they're the objects that um, if you sometimes they're invisible until you click on them, which is really weird. Um, um, you will fail. If, oh, yeah, so some objects in here which you case you can't click on them at all. So if I, well, if I want to read their stats or stuff, I mean, I, I like to do that. Uh, this means no checking stats of certain objects and uh, you must navigate using the wasp keys. Uh, no excuses. No using the scroll wall. Well, that's going to be quite weird because it's going to take forever to travel between some of them. So I'm not sure if I'm going to accept this challenge. I mean, I'll take I'll take the bait. I'm, I don't think I'm going <laughs> to. You must not change the background. That's going to that be quite annoying. Let's well, I feel sorry for anyone watching this in the dark, so apologies for that, but yeah, you can blame the, the madman who created this system. Uh, you can change the lighting mode for better view objects, though. Just remember, no clicking more than once or using the scroll wheel. I, I am so used to using the scroll wheel that I'm probably going to click it anyway, even if I did try to stop it. If you lose, you give me and everyone else a permission to call you Roblox. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, if I don't accept the challenge in the first place, I mean, if I, if I don't, like, go for the challenge in the first place then surely i can just uh like even if i just do this that's game over that's the scroll wheel <laughs> so, I'm, i don't think i'm going to accept that because also for everyone watching it'll, it'll just take forever and i don't want to like just make the video longer than it has to be and it'll just people will get bored if, if i did that surely the system will be updated and more stuff and suffering i mean i'll keep the white background okay but i like i, I, I want to still navigate using the scroll wheel. i mean i've already done that i'm so used to doing it uh, even if i did like i said even if i did try not to use it i'm, I'm, I'm gonna click it accidentally at some point i'm just so used to doing it i mean if, what is this episode 107 of doing this now i mean i'm too used to clicking the scroll wheel i'm too used to playing the game to not do it uh, to be honest so yeah I, I, i'm gonna decline that challenge because that's too much man i can't do that so um right here is the main star not really too much going on as we can see it's all um blacked out there so yeah first of all we'll head to the uh actually we'll use the uh the wasp keys just to get to this because i yeah it's one of those glitch ones okay so here it is so yeah i have to click on it for it to appear so this is the uh the jupurf how do you say that jupurf so we've got this one here so it's uh, obviously a gas giant with an earth texture on it a red earth texture it does actually look really cool um, this one, then it's got um, C-A-M here, or Cat-M, however you want to say it, um, which is here. Now, if you remember this one, uh, this one has been in a previous system, if I remember right. This one looks awesome underneath. I mean, see, if I if I couldn't open the menu, I wouldn't be able to show everyone this awesome view of this object. I mean, look how cool that looks. And if we go in, if we go in realistic, you can see... Is that... No, that's studio. Realistic mode. This thing sort of glows, which is really, really cool. I mean, look at it. It, it has this, like, glow effect. I mean, if we if we put the background to dark, just so we can actually see what see what it actually looks like. So, yeah, this, this object actually glows, which is quite cool. If you look carefully, you can sort of see it glowing, even though it's in complete darkness, because that star isn't luminous at all. Um, but you can see there, yeah, this, this is a glowing object in the night, um, which is uh, pretty crazy. So, yeah, there we go. So here it is here. That is a really cool looking object. But yeah, if I, if, I, if I couldn't open the menus and read the stats and stuff, then I wouldn't be able to show this thing off. So yeah, that sort of defeats the purpose of checking out the system because I wouldn't be able to show it all off properly. Um, so yeah, there we go. Then we have this one over here. So this is another one of the objects, the same one. Yeah, literally exactly the same by the looks of it. Okay, so there, there is that one. A really, really cool looking object. Next up, we've got Pascal here. And this one is uh, still a beautiful looking object, I have to say. Looks amazing right here. 
lovely green clouds, the red and white surface under there. I'm going to be, be quite biased for this one because this is one of my favourites um, with the green atmosphere. But yeah, to me, a really good looking object there. Uh, next up, we have another one. Another one of these. So these are everywhere. Okay. So we got that one there. So there we go. Very large. I really want to click flakes. I reckon it'll break everything. But yeah, just to have a go of the wasp keys, though. Um, here we go. Let's actually see if I can like get to the planet without going too crazy. I mean, so here we go. So we are approaching it there. Okay, so I made it for this. Okay. So here we have this one, which is a gas giant. A very, like, coffee, chocolate sort of looking gas giant there. Um, so yeah, there we go. But yeah, remember, I am, I'm fairly decent with using the wasp keys because I use them to record a whole hour-long video um, using Sandbox and Space Station. So I, I do know how to use them fairly, but I'm still um, naturally using the scroll wheel as well in here. But yeah, here we go. So let's just lock onto it. Otherwise, we're just going to get all this madness. But yeah, here is this gas giant. So it's got a um, pretty interesting green band randomly in there. I definitely think um, it probably would look better without the band. But I mean, that's just my opinion. But yeah, to me, it does sort of stand out, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, look at it there. So there is that. And then another CAM here. Or CATM. So yeah, there we go. Right, so there is that. So it seems to be a bunch of planets with that orbit in it there. Okay, so the best looking planet ever. Okay, so this is Planet 9 with a... Uh, or it's, well, it was a Planet 9, maybe. Maybe he changed it. I mean... So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a Planet 9, pretty much. I mean, it pretty much looks exactly the same as mine, but it's got this orange bit at the top. I mean, I'm not really a fan, I have to say, but, I mean, the system is designed to uh, try and annoy people, so I can see why. But, yeah, we have that there. And next up, we've got another one of these. So these are everywhere. I mean, I'm not objecting because it looks really, really cool looking. I mean, just look at it. It looks so cool. It's such a unique object there. Really, really one of a kind. Oh, right there, looking good. So, yeah, there we go. I, I reckon, right, this would look so good in other colours. Just saying, I reckon if you tinted that and had a player on the colours, I bet you could make so many cool combinations with it. So, yeah, there we go there. The gas giant you'll never be able to see. Okay, so, wow, what is this? Wow, is it just ultra-reflective? Realistic, that's realistic, studio, flashlight. Okay, so that is... That's very weird. Fire. Oh, that is weird, isn't it? Wow. So, I click on it. That's... That is a ghost. <laughs> what is this? That is... That is weird. And another CAM here. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, wow, that's weird. What's it doing in the menu? Is that the white... What? Did you see that? It was... The, the gas, or whatever this is, was just in the menu there. Is it designed to do that, or is that just a glitch? I don't I don't know. I mean, we just, we just saw it there. This object was in the menu for this object. That is weird, isn't it? That is... That's very strange. But yeah, then again, I'm, I'm using the scroll wheel again. I didn't even plan to do it that time. I'm just too used to using the scroll wheel. I, I would have failed the challenge if I accepted it. There's no point accepting it, because it would just make me look silly. So, right, Mega Saturn, photorealistic. Okay. So I'm using the wasp keys here, but I'm just too used to... I, I used it again. I'm just too used to using the scroll wheel. So, right, here we go. Mega Saturn. Okay, so what's this? Okay, so this looks pretty weird. Is it supposed to look like this? I mean, Mega Saturn, photorealistic. So it's got... Yep. Yeah, every time I double click it, it just, it just zooms me out. But here it is. Whoa, this is weird. It's not even a sphere. That's a... Is that an octagon? Has it got eight sides? Uh, one, two... Yeah. Octagon. That's not... Yeah, not a hexagon either. That's an octagon. I think. I haven't done shapes and stuff in a long time, but and then it's got another CAM here, which is also very large in size. I mean, damn, pretty crazy stuff um, there. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's an octagon, I think. So yeah, there we go. Eight-sided shape in a sphere. So and then the octagon's a 2D version actually. I don't even know what the 3D version would have be um, would be called, but um, yeah, there it is. Uh, next up, we have a series over there. So there we go. Actually, in theory, you could sort of cheat this because he says. You're not allowed to open the menu, but if I click it once, I could just press the enter key. That would take me straight to the object. I mean, I don't know. With that, I don't know if that break the rules. Like I said, I haven't accepted the challenge anyway, but... Uh, yeah. So, here it is. That's a, an all-frozen-up series there. So, um, does it look the same underneath? Is it? Is it a series underneath? Oh, yeah, it is a series. Okay, so it's an all-frozen-up series. There. I've sort of broken it now. And then we have another CAM here. I mean, a lot of these. I mean, if they, if they were different colours, that would be quite cool. But yeah, like I said, definitely try different colours of those. I think that would be really cool. Uh, sun, custom solar system objects for you. Okay, so we've got this one over here. Okay, so it's got... Ooh, Mega Saturn, Uranus, New Mega Neptune. Ooh, okay. So, right. So this is a super large rocky planet. By the way. It's only 8,000 kilometres. So that's that's a rocky planet underneath, Okay. And another CAM, which is also very large. That's very strange. Um, so then we have a Mercury here. So that's looking uh, really funny with the pink on it there. 
Uh, and we have custom Venus. That's looking um, pretty interesting there with the blue atmosphere. We have an Earth, which is <laughs> very strange looking there. Then we have Mars. I'm guessing all of these are just trolls and jokes. I mean, this one, there's Mars, the red planet. Uh, from a distance, I mean, you could you could say they look like them. Then we've got Mega Jupiter, which, um, yeah, very interesting colour there for a Jupiter. So we've got a red, white, black colour theme. Mega Saturn again. Okay, so this one um, actually is the closest to the real Saturn, I think, colour-wise, compared to the other planets. Then we've got Uranus out here. The regular stock Uranus, obviously, um, we're not a fan of this one, as we have uh, sort of built that reputation on this channel. We're not a fan of the regular Uranus. And then lastly, we've got Neptune here, which is um, a dark purple, or more of a lavender purple one with black and white areas on it as well. So yeah, very um, interesting representation of the solar system. Um, definitely unusual, I'll definitely give you that. So there we go. Uh, next up we have an Earth out here, so yeah, there we go. And yeah, I can click the enter button to sort of zoom into it. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but yeah, there we go. So this one is, looks ultra frozen up um, by the looks of it there. So yeah, there we go. All of that stuff. So there we go. It's got a bit of water on it there. And there we go. And it's got a ton of, uh, just an infinite amount of cat M's here. I mean, look at all these. I mean, it's a... Uh, he must really like this object to have it this many times. I mean, damn. That's a, there's a ton of those, but they're obviously all the same. So there's not really too much going on there. I mean, I don't really need to check the stats on these because the star doesn't really work anyway in this system. Also, it's a black... Um, is it a black dwarf or just a blacked out star anyway? So yeah, there we go. Then we have a Triton out here. Which is very, uh, very strange looking for a Triton with the different colours. Yeah, this is all just a troll. Um, all this stuff. I mean, there it is there, though. Uh, nice nice looking object, nonetheless, though. So we've got that one there. And we have another CAM here. Right, zooming out. We have a ton of distracting names. We have a planet here. So we've got this one. So there we go there. And another one of these. So there we go. All right. And I'm just using the scroll. I don't even think when I use the scroll. I'm just too used to doing it. Then we've got Planet Leo out here. A new version of it. By the looks of it. We've seen this one a few times before. But here it is. That actually looks really nice. I have to say. Wow. That is looking good. Let's go into studio mode. Get a good look at it. Oh, studio doesn't even work. Okay. Realistic. No. That's so we have to keep it on flashlight. Then we've got one that says Luke is uncool. So another one of the CAMs. So there we go. Right. Zooming out. We've got just a ton of distraction names. I'm guessing these are all the same. I mean, clicking on all of these would be... Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. We've got all of those. Yeah, an absolute ton of them. And then lastly, we've got click and delete me to get price. So maybe there's an object underneath this or something. So this, okay, there's definitely something under here. So that's another regular Uranus. And I see some orange objects in there. So I'm assuming they may be some templates, which um, we were talking about quite a while ago. Um, so click and delete me. So if I delete this, we've got a ton of orange objects. Okay, so here we go. And they are looking very fine, I've say. Look at those orange, because compared to my current orange, let's just get a comparison. My orange templates are not the best, so let's get a look at these. So, so here, here are my orange templates. I mean, are they even spawn in here? Oh, this simulation so broken. <laughs> okay, so if I click, there we go. So here are my orange templates compared to these ones. So you can see the orange is way more vibrant on these, which is um, why they were created, just to get an updated version. But yeah, these look very nice. I mean, they're just randomly placed in here anyway, but yeah, the orange atmosphere on that looking good. I mean, the orange Venus version. Oh, that's looking cool. And then there's a bunch more, some gas giants in here as well. Very nice. All different shades. Looking good. So yeah, there we go. But yeah, we, we've got to click play. I mean, we, we just have to. I really want to see all this action unfold. So here we go. All of these objects, ton of different templates, but yeah, I can obviously get them at a later time. But if I click play, surely this is just going to be chaos with all the objects in there. So if we speed it up, does it even play? Or is it that broken? Oh, no, here we go. Yeah. So, yeah, the system was created to destroy it or created to annoy us, but let's destroy it. <laughs> so if we click play, as we can see, already chaos unfolding. I'm pretty sure if we just pause, if we go back to the inner areas, I'm pretty sure all of those moons, all of those CAMs are going to collide with the planets that they are orbiting. I mean, if we go in here, go all the way here. I, d I don't know even know what this fragment is. I mean, the amount of glitchy levels in here. I mean, this has probably had some sort of involvement with this one. I mean, look, it's just a pile of fragments now. So we've got that one there. One of those ones. I think that one's all right. But all of these objects further out. I bet these are just going to collide with those CAMs or they're going to get torn up by Roosh Limit. I mean, the simulation's literally lagging. That's how bad this is when you click play. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah, there we go. But, yeah, that, that, is a good, that is definitely... I think that's definitely the top object for me in here. I think that one looks really, really cool. 
I think the green band, obviously, it does look out of place. I'm pretty sure most of us could have agreed on that. But from this angle, that's a very nice looking gas giant. But yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll end it off. Um, we'll head. We'll reopen it. But as we can see, that <laughs> this simulation is total chaos. So let's just click on it. I'm getting a bit of game lag. So apologies for that. We're just trying to change simulations. I'm not really missing anything anyway. Yeah, but yeah, click and play and then trying to change simulations. It's not a good idea. So let's just see if this works. Um, but yeah, there we go. Come on, are you gonna work? Come on, don't freeze on us now. We're right almost at the end of the video. No, <laughs> come on. Well, yeah, we pretty much. Um, oh, the game is the game gonna crash? I thought I've, the music just cut out for a second. <laughs> oh, it's frozen. I've got white screened. Oh, it's broken us. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's. I think we've lost it. Oh no no. Oh my god. No way. Is it gonna load? I mean, it looks like it. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's frozen on my screen as well. It's not um, just you guys, but I guess while it's loading up, um, before we go into chart mode, guys, a massive thank you for watching today. Um, apologies for anyone who wanted me to try and do that challenge, but uh, I, I, there's no way I would have I would not have passed that. I mean, if you guys want me to try and pass the challenge, I mean, I could go through this again um, if you want. But yeah, on on first thoughts, I <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna accept that challenge because that that's just. Uh, that's just too hard to hard. That is just yeah, way too hard to ask for. I mean, I am too used to the scroll. Oh, it looks like it actually did load. Um, okay, so we're in it again. But yeah, it's definitely too much for me to try and do that challenge. I mean, look, just look at just look at the odds again. You must not change the background. We broke that. You, you're not allowed to use the scroll wheel. Like you have to use the wasp keys. Like you can't open the menus and check the objects and stuff. I mean, it's it's too uh, it's too much for me to do. I mean, I would have broken it. I'm too used to using the scroll wheel. I'm too used to just doing this, um, and that probably wasn't a good idea to like scroll it that fast. But I probably could do it with just the wasp keys. But um, clicking on the objects, but yes, in which you cannot click on them. I mean, like I said, you can still sort of like just click on them and do that. And then you can sort of zoom into them. But I don't know. But if you guys want me to try and attempt this challenge, we could do it as a separate video. But for the initial checking out system video, we're just going to do it like normal. Because, yeah, otherwise it'd just take us ages. And it would be kind of a bit silly to do it. So if you guys want me to do that, let me know. But, yeah, that does it for this. But we'll get a lineup of all the objects to um, end off if it even works. I mean, yeah, this is a very laggy system, isn't it, as well? We're not even playing it um, right now. But, yeah, I think we'll just um, pretty much end off here. I mean, <laughs> it's very... Oh, that was, a, that was a weird shape, wasn't it? Oh, it just glitched out. Yes, it's very glitchy. And by the looks of it, look at all the CAMs in here. I mean, look at all these. They're all glitched out as well. This is a very glitch. But yeah, top for the gas giants, it's definitely this one. Um, it takes it for me. I, I, I do like the colours on that. Rocky planets. I mean, it would be CAM. I mean, it just looks. It just looks really, really cool the way it looks there. But um, yeah, there we go. So that was definitely a more interesting system than usual. I mean, I've never had anyone try and make me do a challenge before. But like I said, if you guys want me to do it, um, I could give it a go. But yeah, that does it for now. So um, let's see if we can go for 30 likes on this very insane system, guys. And yeah, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to um, 11,000 subscribers. And also a massive thank you because we're going to be getting there very, very soon. So I say thanks in advance as well. That is awesome. Um, but yeah, these how glitch these things are until you click on them. They're very strange, but um, yeah, there we go. So that is everything, guys. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys all have a great day. Leave a like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.